Hello friends and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel I be all designing developer like in the previous videos we are working with react 18 and I hope you are enjoying that all the stuff which we are doing. So today also we are working with react 18 and in this video also I'll be telling you how to work with react 18 and from start to end what the things we will be using today. So we are using just today another different tag using react 18 and we will be just building the project here from start to end which will be giving you help. So moving forward in the video I'll be telling you what the project we will be building and what things we will be using here. So it will be just used by react 18 but it should be really different project like previously on we have just uh, installed bootstrap in our react 18 and we have also made table using bootstrap. Then we have also learned about like how to use bootstrap in react 18 like that all this stuff but and then after that we have also learned about nested loops as well which in which I have telling you about some of the tags like button tag a tag which are called nested loops. So I will be coming up with more nested loops video because there are not two nested loops which I have telling you there are many many of them but I have telling you some of the main nested loops which are not used by some of the people when they are building this website or projects here. So today also we will be just now working with react 18 tag and I will be telling you what the tag we will be using from start and what things this will be including. So remember to hit a like to this video and if you are new on the channel hit the subscribe button. After subscribing hit notification bell as well so you can just see my all the coming up future videos and you will be notified with that. And also remember to just see my previous videos like I have covered up javascript tutorial from start to end it will be giving you help. So just now we will be starting with our video and seeing how to just build this project here and what things we will be using in this react 18 project. So just like I am telling you we will be just building the project using react 18 and I hope you will be enjoying today's project. So today I will be telling you how to just build Nash a nested list and what is nested list in react 18 like in the previous video we have learned about nested loops and we have also learned about export app so in this video i will be telling you what is nested list and how to use it so for using nested list here i will be opening my vs code and my uh, google you can say this oh, uh, microsoft edge browser because i am using this browser as my default browser so here i will be now erasing all these files which i will be needing because now we will be not needing that these are the previous files which we are working when we were working with our previous video so for working with nested uh, just you can say for working with nested list you have to create a list like in the previous video of nested loops we have just worked about two loops one was our button loops and then second one was our a tag loop so in this video we will be not working with any loops we will be working with list so for working with list here you have to now move down and you have to create an unordered list first of all move and when you've created this unordered list in this unordered list i will be creating a list here i will be writing home you can see we are getting the home here and after getting the home you have to now just make here more different tags so we can get our list moving so you can see here we are getting many lists save this so we are getting the list here you can also set the list by the number as well if you want to give number to your list so like these are the navbar menus which i built so here i will be now writing home services and then here I will be now writing blog. So these are the navbar menus which we are getting in any normal website here. So here these are the list which I have written. And then I will be moving here and giving it the heading here. And in heading I will be now writing like navbar menus like this I will be giving heading. Save this so you can see we are getting the navbar menus heading. Then I will be giving here class name. In class name I will be now writing here uh, just like you can now set its font size here as well. So we are just getting here navbar menus now like this you can just put more other like you can say the here you can see you can just put more other things as well so i will be moving here then you have to write p tag in p tag like i have just written here navbar menus so you can just write here any other thing as as well like here i have written navbar menus you can write here food list like this or you can say here grocery list i will be writing and after writing grocery list you can now make ul tag again and in ul tag you can now write here your list and in list you can now write your grocery list which you want to write like here i will be writing apples then you have to now just do one thing move down and here after moving down just you have to now make here mangoes like this then after creating just you have to make here this tag then after making this uh, like you can say list here i will be moving then i will be now just writing here vegetables like this and here you have to move down then we'll be creating four list here and then here you can give any other name like apple mangoes vegetables then you can just now write here like more other 
then here these are the groceries which i have built and you can see we are getting one grocery list then we are getting navbar menus at the top these are the grocery list which we are getting here and then you will be also getting more other things so you can create more other list here so i will be moving down then here you can just write like i have written grocery list you can write food items like this and then you have to move down and write here you will tag and write li in li i will be writing here like food items you can just write here pizza then i will be now just writing here li tag in which you can just write here like burgers then here you can write price so here i will be now writing like this so here you have to move down then i will be now just writing here like uh, rice these are the food items which i have written you can see now these are the many of the list which i have uh, telling you and this was our nested list uh, this was our project of nested list in which i want to tell you how to create list using nested and how to just use react 18 to just build a nested list so these are the nested list which we have built here using react 18 like i first of all build the navbar menus list which we are getting then the grocery list we are getting then these are the food item lists uh, list which i have just built so like this you can work on uh, these things and i have telling you in this video what is nested list and how to use it so i hope you understand this video if you have understand enjoy this video so hit a like and if you are new on this channel hit the subscribe button and after subscribing hit notification bell as well so you can just see my all the coming up videos and i'll be uploading more videos like that in future as well so remember to check that out if you have hit notification bell and also share this video so more people can learn and they can take benefit of these amazing things so just i'll be meeting next project so for today Good. Bye.